Today, a local judge decided to place a sexually violent predator in Borrego Springs. The Department of State Hospitals recommended Michael Martinez be housed there. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner was at today's hearing downtown where neighbors said the safety of their kids and families is now at risk. Jennifer. Yeah, Lindsay, that's right. Neighbors are so upset by this. One mother held back tears during our interview with her. They say this is not the right community for a sexually violent predator. Judge David Gill told the courtroom Friday he'd made his decision about placing a sexually violent predator, or SVP, in Borrego Springs. I'll approve the uh, suggested location. The ruling allows convicted pedophile Michael Martinez to be housed in the rural desert community. It comes after weeks of protest and outrage. The judge previously said he'd go visit the location for himself. Photos show him touring the area. Linda Arambula, a mother of two who lives two doors down, held back tears Friday. I got really upset because I feel vulnerable and I feel my community is going to be in danger. That's how I feel. There's a lot of fear of, of this guy coming in the neighborhood. Neighbors like John Stillman have argued that police response times there are slow and Borrego is a dark sky community, meaning there are no street lights. It's now worrying about looking sideways at that house. Is the guy out? Is the guy in? If the moon's not out and we're in front of our house, I can't see my hand in front of my face. It's, it's that dark out there. Martinez was found guilty in four separate cases involving children. The Superior Court ordered his conditional release and the Department of State Hospitals recommended that he be placed in Borrego with Liberty Healthcare in charge of his supervision. Liberty has stated that Martinez would be under GPS monitoring and that none of their SVPs have ever reoffended in their placed locations. He's the second SVP considered for Borrego. In August, Douglas Badger will have his hearing. He was pushed out of two other other local communities that fought back. And the placement will happen in the next 45 days. Neighbors tell us they plan to fight this. Reporting live tonight from downtown, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. Jennifer, thank you.